This game is being streamed by 852FX on iHi.com because of the Verizon 4G LTE hotspot. Thanks to the Verizon wireless connection, 852FX has streaming services where a landline will not reach. Now, 852FX offers streaming broadcast as well as edited team videos and player profiles. Powerade Ion 4, complete with sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, for electrolytes lost in sweat. Powerade Ion 4, the complete sports drink. I got you unplugged, so you don't have to mess with coffee while you're just warming up. I thought I had the tutorial queued, but I, I loaded a bunch of iHi commercials. They're not letting me all have access to everything I loaded. So right now I don't have it plugged in. I'm just going on ambient audio. I queued it, but it didn't show up. It only lets me queue from eight. I put my 12 commercials up, so I guess the last four didn't take. See, there's just over eight minutes left before game time. Portland Christian now is the floor. We're going to take a quick break. We just want state. Take my hand off, take my hand off. 
Powerade Ion 4, complete with sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, or electrolytes lost in sweat. Powerade Ion 4, the complete sports drink. You're watching a live broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready, fall in, game on. FX. Be ready. Fall in. Game on. Hello and welcome to the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium here at Kentucky Country Day School. We have live volleyball action for you today as the KCD Bearcats take on the Portland Christian Eagles here on our iHigh Network channel. KCD is coached by Chrissy Gandolfo and Jenny Riggs. They enter the game today 4 and 16. Portland Christian, the Portland Christian Eagles enter the game 2 and 11 are coached by Ellis Settle. These two teams played each other back on August 23rd. KC won that match in three games 25 15, 16 25, and 25 22. KCD has won one game since that, that meeting, and Portland Christian has beat both Wagner and Shawnee since that meeting in August. We have about three minutes left to go in warm-ups here as both teams prepare for this varsity matchup. I am Mike Gandolfo. Be sure to come back and check ihigh.com slash kcd for live sporting events throughout the year. We will continue to have volleyball action as well as football, field hockey, soccer, and the winter and spring sports as well. Senior Shelby Hendricks has her teammates huddled up for a quick little motivational speech. The girls break for a little serving practice about two minutes ago. That's the two-minute two-minute horn before the match begins. So both teams will practice serving. KCD dressed in white with blue lettering, and the Portland Christian Eagles are in green uniforms with white lettering. This match is uh, between two crosstown rivals, soon to be two very near rivals. Next year, Portland Christian, the high school, will move to the location on Westport Road that used to be Mother Good Council Christian or Catholic Church. They've got uh, some school, some uh, schooling going on over there right now, but the high school will not move over there until next year. And these two uh, two teams, two rivals, will be just minutes apart then.
Final seconds tick off the clock here in the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium at KCD before we begin varsity volleyball action. KCD and Portland Christian. There's the horn. Both teams gather at their respective benches around their coaches for last minute instructions before we begin today's match. Volleyball has played best out of three. Rally scoring to 25. Neither one of these teams will use a libero. We're going to take a quick break before we get started here. Two teams shake hands and huddle up. We're about ready to get started here. KCD led by their two seniors, number 24, Shelby Hendricks, and number two, Callie Klink. Portland Christian has three seniors on their roster. Number five, Spencer Eric. Number eight, Hannah Gathoff. And number 20, Kate Means. Starting lineups for KCD, the two seniors again, Klink and Hendricks, number 21, Anna Sapone, number 3, Heather Tordorf, number 12, Kennedy Hayes, and number 5, Jordan Cohen. <coughs> it appears that KCD has won the serve, and senior Shelby Hendricks steps back to serve first for the Bearcats. Here's a referee's whistle, and Shelby set to serve. Deep serve to the back middle. Portland Christian handles it, gets the second hit up. The, the kill is down, but defend it. Kennedy Hayes with a nice tip over the net, and a lift called on Portland Christian. one nothing Bearcats. Now they're... There's a correction, actually. It looks like Kennedy Hayes actually got called for the lift. So Portland Christian will get the point. And the serve, first serve for Portland Christian, number two, Abby Scroggy. Scroggy's first serve is handled by Hendricks, who gets the Hayes for the set. And Cohen with the attempt at the kill. No good. Callie Klink now handles it. Off the air conditioning duck and falls. Portland Christian takes an early 2 nothing lead. Scroggy, a freshman for the Portland Christian Eagles. Second serve. Serves a deep, handled by Sapone. But off the air conditioner once again and falls for a 3 0 Portland Christian. Scroggy serves back right to Hendricks. Gets it to Hayes. Hayes to Cohen. Cohen with a attempt. Can't get it down. Defended by Portland Christian. Portland Christian gets it over. And KCD lets the ball fall once again. 4 nothing. Coach Gandolfo does not like what she sees. She calls timeout. We will be right back after this commercial break. You're watching a live broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready. Ball in. Game on. Eight fifty 
FX. Be ready. Fall in. Game on. Both teams break from the huddle. Scroggy set to serve again for Portland Christian. He's up 4 nothing. He serves it to Sapone. Sapone gets it to Hayes. To Tordorf, who gets it over the net. Portland Christian's attempt here. Scroggy. Sapone handles Scroggy's hit. Back to Hayes. Cohen with the free ball over. To Portland Christian. And the ball drops for the KC's first point. Score is now 4-1 to one with Heather Tordorf coming to serve. Heather gets the toss up. It's a short serve. But effective as Portland Christian gets three touches on the ball, but the ball goes under the net. And 4-2, Case, 4-2 with KCD serving. Heather Tordorf again. Porter with a skying serve that hits the uh, the gym divide. It will be a side out going over to Portland Christian. Serving for Portland Christian is number eight, Hannah Gathoff, the senior. She serves it to Shelby Hendricks, who gets the ball over the net. And Clink with the block. Gets the point for KCD, now three to five. With setter Kennedy Hayes coming to serve. Freshman Hayes gets a short serve that comes off the net. That is legal in volleyball now. The ball is allowed to touch the net and go over. They made that change with the libero change and the rally scoring change. KC one point away from time to score. Hayes' serve is short. Side out to Portland Christian with number four. Madison Cyrus going back to serve. Cyrus gets her server to Shelby Hendricks. Zapone with a set to Jordan Cohen, who gets the kill down the left side. KCD trailing five to six on the comeback trail after being down 4-0. Eighth grader Jordan Cohen now set to serve for the Bearcats. Cohen with a nice hard serve to the deep middle. Portland Christian handles it. Free ball coming over. Off the hands of Hayes. Side out, Portland Christian. 7 5. Two point lead for Portland Christian with number three, Ashley Dixon, coming to serve a sophomore for the Eagles. Dixon with the serve to Shelby Hendricks, who gets the hit to Anna Spone. Back to Hendricks. Hendricks with the deep ball, handled by Portland Christian. Coming over, Jordan Cohen. Spone gets it over the net. And we get four hits on Portland Christian. Coming back to the Bearcats. Senior Callie Clink set to serve. Clink with the serve to the middle of the floor, handled by the front middle. Portland gets it over in three hits with a free ball. Sapone with a set to Cohen. Back row attack, handled by Portland Christian. Another free ball coming over. Sapone gets her hands on the ball, and it drops in between Cohen and Kennedy Hayes. Prompts Coach Gandolfo to bring in Sam Laurel for Hayes. Portland Christian with this serving to the net. That serve was by number 11, Ruby Meredith. 7 8. KC trails by one with Texas transfer number 21, Anna Sapone, the junior. Sapone with the serve gets over. Off the net. And mishandled by the Eagles. KC has finally come all the way back from their 4 0 deficit to tie the score at 8. Sapone gets a short serve in. Portland Christian. Gets three touches on the ball, but can't get the ball with the net. And here's KCD's first lead of the game.
Pones. Third serve goes into the net. Side out to Portland Christian. Tied up 9-9 to with senior number 20, Katie Means, set to serve. Means with an underhand serve to Cohen. Sam Laurel with a set to hit. Call for a double hit on Sam Laurel. Point goes to Portland Christian. Coach Gandolfo will use Kennedy Hayes, Anna Sabone, and Sam Laurel to all do some setting with Hayes doing the majority of it. Again with the underhand serve from Laurel. Sapone gets her hands on to Clink. And the ball drops. Portland Christian expands their lead to two with the serve. Means again, sets her underhand. To Callie Clink with the bump. Gets the bump to Sam Laurel. And she gets a double hit once again. Basically what's happening is the ball is hitting one hand before the other hand. And that will get Coach Gandolfo to get Kennedy Hayes back in the game for Sam Laurel. Hayes now with the set to over the net. Handled by Spone. Back to Hayes. Tordorf with a nice deep ball. Portland Christian can't handle it. And the ball drops. Side out to KCD. Shelby Hendricks to serve for the second rotation. Down two. Senior Hendricks serves it off the tape. And the serve returns back to Portland Christian. Number two, Abby Scroggy, serving for the Eagles. Scroggy serves it to Hendricks, who gets it to Hayes, over to Cohen. Portland Christian gets their third kill attempt, handled by Hendricks, to Hayes and to Cohen. Cohen with a deep hit. Portland Christian returns it out of bounds, side out to KCD. With Tordorf. Heather Tordorf back to serve. Tordorf serves to the middle. Portland with a second bump. And they get called for the double hit. Now Tordorf with a chance to tie the game for KCD. Serve gets over. And an ace. Wonderful placement by Heather Tordorf on her serve. The sophomore who has really improved since her freshman year. Heather Tordorf again with the with the serve to the middle of the floor. And the intimidating Callie Clink causes Portland Christian to have the ball drop on their side, and we have a substitution for Portland Christian. Coming in the game for Portland Christian is number Nine, Emma Steele. Had the Tordorf again with the serve to the middle. Off the, off the hand of Portland Christian for a side out. Casey now up two. Portland Christian calls timeout, and we will take a quick break, and we'll be back in just a little bit. 15-13 is the score. We just won state. Oh yeah. Something like that. And we're back at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium. KCD leads Portland Christian 15-13 as they break from the timeout. Both teams now have one timeout remaining in this first game. Tordor set to serve. Serves is short to the left. Portland Christian gets the free ball to Hendricks. Hits the ball to Hayes, who gets the ball to Cohen. Cohen out of bounds. Just misses the line on the left side. 
Side out to Portland Christian. The timeout works. Brings Hannah Gadhoff, the senior, to serve for Portland Christian. Trailing by one. Gadhoff serves it into Zapone. Hayes with the bump to Cohen. Cohen with the kill. Casey gets the ball back, and Sam Laurels quick off the bench to come in for Hayes. Both Hayes and Laurel are promising young players for the Bearcats. Laurel to serve. Side out goes to Portland Christian, who trail by one with number four, Madison Cyrus, now set to serve. Cyrus is a left-hander. Hits the ball, handled by Laurel. He gets it to Hendricks. Free ball from Callie Clint coming over the net. Nope. Hits the divide. That will be a point for the Eagles. Now tied up 16-16. Again, we played a 25 win by two. Cyrus serving from the other side of the floor now. Again, the left-hander. Tordorf off her arm, out of bounds. Portland Christian retakes the lead. Substitution for the Eagles. Into the game is number 11, Ruby Meredith. Portland Christian up by one with the serve from Cyrus. Hendricks handles. Sapone with the set to, to Cohen, who gets a kill down the middle of the floor. But it, the dig by Portland Christian. Double hit. Side out comes to KCD. Score now tied 17-17 with Jordan Cohen coming to serve. Eighth grader gets a nice serve in with the ace. The ace for number five, Jordan Cohen. KCD retakes the lead. Cohen serve is handled by Portland Christian. He gets a free ball over to Cohen. Back to Sapone. Sapone's going to get the set to Hendricks. Hendricks with the kill. KCD now up two. Just like Coach Gandolfo wants it. A nice bump to the setter, and the setter gets it to one of her hitters, and the hitter gets it down. Cohen with the serve off the tape. Ball returns to Portland Christian. KCD holds on to a one-point lead with number three, Ashley Dixon, the sophomore, coming to serve. Dixon gets the whistle from the referee. She hits it to Shelby Hendricks. Zapone dies and gets a hit to Clink, gets the ball down, but it's handled by Portland Christian. Great dig by Heather Tordor. Ball saved by Sam Laurel. Two girls call for it, and they both back off, and the ball drops. Great effort by the KC girls all the way up to the end when they just, two girls just watched the ball drop right in between them, and the score is now tied again at 19. Dixon with the toss. Serves it to Shelby Hendricks. Hendricks is the pwn. Clink, free ball over, but out of bounds. And Portland Christian retakes the lead. KC's coming out a little sluggish. Dixon serves it again, handled by Hendricks. The pwn with the serve, the set to Hendricks. Hendricks just taps it over the net, right right over the head of the blocker, and it drops. The tie the score 20 with senior Callie Clink coming to serve. Clink serves it into the net. Ball goes back to Portland Christian. Portland retakes the lead 21-20. Number 11, Ruby Meredith up to serve now. Casey desperately needs to get a quick side out. Meredith tosses and hits it, and the ball drops for an ace for Meredith. 22-20, Portland Christian. And Coach Gandolfo calls her final timeout, and we will take a quick break.
JC breaks the huddle down two. Portland Christian still huddled up. Coach Gandolfo hoping to break the momentum of the Portland Christian Eagles, getting a, a very important side out. So the Bearcats can take back control of this game. Meredith set to serve again for Portland Christian. Shelby Hendricks has the ball hit off her arms. And Callie Clink cannot track it down. 23-20, not exactly what Coach Gandolfo wanted to see out of the timeout with the ball being mishandled by her seniors. Meredith serves it this time, and it drops in between Jordan Cohen and Sam Laurel. We have got game point for the Portland Christian Eagles. Ruby Meredith serving for the game. Jordan Cohen handles the serve deep over the net. Portland Christian gets it over and three hits. Nope. And KCD hanging on for dear life. 24-21. Has Kennedy Hayes checked back in for Sam Laurel. And Natalie Tordorf is going to come in for Anna Sapone and Natalie Tordorf is going to be our server here. Natalie, the younger sister of Heather Tordorf. KCD down three. Tordorf also a left-hander. Gets the serve into the back middle. Portland Christian with the kill attempt, but it's handled by Shelby Hendricks. And Kennedy Hayes bumps it over. Hanging on for life right here. The KC Bearcats trail by two. Two more important serves for Heather Tordor. But the Bearcats want to stay in this game. Tordor gets her serve over to the short. Set by Portland Christian. Free ball coming over. Jordan Cohen tips, gets it to Hayes. Hayes gets it over the net. Returned by Portland Christian. Cohen to Hayes. To Hendricks who will get a nice deep ball in. Portland handles. Free ball coming over. Tordorf to Hayes to Hendricks. Hendricks places it in the back corner of the court. And it's off Portland Christian's fingertips. Out of bounds. 24-23. KC trails by one. And Portland Christian calls timeout. KCD showing signs of life. Hanging on. Are we still and we're going to stay right here as we both teams get instruction for coaches. No more timeouts left for either team now. KCD breaks the huddle saying fight. And that's exactly what they've done. Down 24-20, clawing their way back in this game, showing a lot of heart, staying right there. Big serve right here for Heather Tordor's little sister, Natalie. Left-handed Natalie Tordor. Serves it. Gets it. Must have just missed the line. The referee calls it out. Portland Christian takes the first game 25-23. to 23. It looked like a very nice serve by Natalie Tordorf, and it must have just barely missed the line. We'll take a quick break, and we'll return for the second game. Powerade Ion 4, complete with sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, for electrolytes lost in sweat. Powerade Ion 4, the complete sports drink. Watching a live broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready, fall in, game on. <laughs> 
852FX. Be ready. Fall in. Game on. Back here at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium for the second game between the Portland Christian Eagles and the KC Bearcats. Portland Christian takes the first game 25-23. KC gets off to a slow start. They're going to win today. They're going to have to win three, just like they did the first time they played Portland Christian at Portland Christian on August 23rd. Abby Scroggy set to serve for the Portland Christian Eagles. As the referees check their numbers and rotations, make sure everyone's in the right spot to start this game. And here's the whistles. Groggy with the serve. The freshman hits it to Anna Sapone, who gets it up to Jordan Cohen. Jordan Cohen to Shelby Hendricks. Free ball over the net. Scroggy dies. Gets the ball up. And number four, Madison Cyrus for Portland. Goes under the net and is called for the interference. One nothing KC Shelby Hendricks set to serve. Hendricks with her signature sidestep before we serve. It's effective as Portland is unable to return. Senior set to serve again. There's the sidestep and the toss. Surges to the back. Mishandled by number 11, Ruby Meredith. The ace for senior Shelby Hendricks. <laughs> Hendricks, another one that serves to Ruby Meredith. Portland with the bump set, the back row attack, out of bounds. KC starts this match off, this game off the exact opposite of the first game. Instead of being down 4 0, they're up 4 0. Hendricks again serving. Sidestep. Toss. Hits it to Ruby Merrith. No, Merrith, watch it drop. Another ace for the senior, Shelby Hendricks. Shelby surges to the back middle. Portland with the bump set. Back row attack by Ruby Meredith. But Anna Zabone gets it up to Callie Klink. Off, but Shelby Hendricks gets it over, saves it in the net. Portland, what a great effort by Shelby Hendricks. Timeout, Portland Christian. KC up 6 0 to start the second game. And we will take a quick break. We just won state. Both teams break the huddle from the timeout. KC with the 6-0 lead and still has a serve. Senior superstar athlete Shelby Hendricks set the serve again. Pulling Christian hoping they broke her momentum. She gets the serve in. Back middle, another ace. The third ace of this serving rotation for Shelby Hendricks. 
Hendricks, I'm sure, not very happy with how they played in the first game. Is going to take this team back and make sure they lead them to a victory in the second one. 7-0 KCD. Hendricks again with another ace. She's found a gap right between Ruby Meredith and Emma Steele. Coach Steele subs in at number five, Spencer Eric for Emma Steele, hoping to clog that hole. Eight nothing now, KCD. Shelby Hendricks set to serve again. Hendricks now goes to the other side. Portland Christian gets it up, but can't get it over. Nine nothing now, KCD. Hendricks is feeling it. Shelby with another good serve to the back middle, handled by Spencer Eric. Free ball, handled by Callie Clink. Jordan Cohen and Shelby Hendricks have a little bit of a miscommunication and it hits off and drops. Side out for Portland Christian. Portland Christian on the board with number eight, Hannah Gadhoff, set to serve the senior. Gets it to the back middle, Zapone to Kennedy Hayes. Kennedy Hayes called for the double hit. It's a product of having young setters, not a lot of experience. Gadhoff gets it to Callie Klink. Klink hits the ball over, returned by Portland Christian. Tordor sends it right back over. Back row attack by Portland Christian. Anna Sapone gets her hands on it. And Klink and Hayes go after it, but neither one can get to it. 9-3 to three now, Portland Christian. KCD in danger of losing all the momentum that they started this match with. They need a side out. Gadhoff serves a deep serve off of Anna Sapone. Another point for Portland Christian. Portland Christian right there answering. KCD needs somebody to stop the bleeding right here. Gadhoff serves it to Callie Clink. Callie Clink has the ball hit off her hands instead of her arms. The ball drops. 9-5, Portland Christian. Gadhoff, two seniors, Gadhoff and Hendricks, showing off their serving prowess. Clink gets the ball now this time to Kennedy Hayes. Cohen with the attempt on the kill, but Portland handles it. Free ball coming over, but there's a double hit on Portland Christian. Now 10-5 to with Heather Tordorf to serve for the Bearcats. Heather gets a short serve in. Portland Christian tries to get the kill down, but off the tape. And it drops. Heather Tordorf will get another serve here. With Casey up six. Back middle. Casey get, gets the ball. Kennedy Hayes with the tip over. Great placement by the freshman Hayes on that tip. Tordorf serves it into the net. Side out comes back to Portland Christian. The trail 12 to 6. With number four, Madison Cyrus. The left hander to serve. Cyrus gets a replay on the toss. Serves it to the back row. Anna Sapone off her hands, and it falls. The left-hander for Portland Christian will get another serve. Cyrus skims the net. Ball returned by KC, back over by Portland Christian. Hayes with the set. Over. Hendricks saves it. Both teams battling right here. Jordan Cohen with the kill attempt. Handled by Portland Christian, and they get a back row attack off the hands of Anna Sapone. 
and a big point for Portland Christian, who pulled within four, 12 to eight, with Cyrus still serving. Sapone's feet are not moving, just her hands. Deep serve. Not handled by the Bearcats, off of Heather Tordorf. Portland Christian has almost completely uh, taken away the big early lead by KCD. Coach Gandolfo calls timeout. Both teams are called one timeout now, and we will be back here in just a second at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium. You're watching a live broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready. Fall in. Game on. Eight fifty two FX. Be ready. Fall in. Game on. Left hander Cyrus set to serve again for Portland Christian. KCD in need of a side out to stop the Portland Christian rally. Cyrus hits it to Zapone, who gets the ball to Cohen. Callie Clean gets the ball over with a deep ball. Portland Christian, free ball over. Shelby Hendricks to Hayes. Cohen down. Cohen gets it down. Good timeout by Coach Gandolfo. We are now going to get a substitution for Hayes in the game. We'll be fresh and staying moral to serve. 13-9 KCD. Laurel gets it over. Portland with a free ball back over. Nope, off the tape. KCD hoping to add to their cushion a little bit now. Back up five. Portland Christian had cut it all the way back to three. After KCD took an early 9 nothing lead. The freshman Laurel gets the serve over back middle. Callie Clink returns it. The senior middle blocker does what she does best. Moral. Has the ball hit off her hand and out of bounds. Back to Portland Christian with number three, Ashley Dixon. Set to serve for the Eagles. Dixon gets her serve. Callie Clink with a quick bump. Zapone gets the ball over. Portland with the free ball coming back. Sam Laurel. Step by Sapone. Clink with the hit. Dig by Portland Christian. He gets the kill attempt himself, but it's dug out by Tordor. And Clink will send a free ball over. That drops! 16 10 now, KCD. Looking like a completely different team. Jordan Cohen now set to serve for the Bearcats. Cohen with a nice serve to the back middle. Portland Christian handles the ball with the kill attempt, but can't get it over. Spencer Eric causes uh, Portland Christian to call their final timeout of the game. It's a bit unusual to call your final timeout with 17 10. Most coaches use that final timeout when it's close to the end of the game and they're trying to break momentum. But when you're down seven, I guess you need to break momentum whenever you can. KCD breaks the huddle. Coach settles. Portland Christian Eagles break their huddle. Jordan Cohen, the eighth grader, set to serve again. Cohen gets her serve in. Portland Christian with the free ball coming back, but Shelby Hendricks. Shelby Hendricks and Callie Clink, a big senior wall right there. Hendricks gets the 
Gets the block, puts it down, basically up eight. Cohen with the serve. Back middle. Kill attempt off the tape. Casey gets that nine point lead back finally after Portland had cut it all the way back to three. It's now 19 10, Bearcats. Cohen with a great serve. There's the ace that we're used to seeing for Jordan Cohen. Off the hands of Ashley Dixon. Beautiful placement by Jordan Cohen. Back middle falls for Cohen. Second straight ace for Cohen. Jordan Cohen, 21 10 now, Bearcats. Coach Settle trying to break momentum by having some, having a quick substitutions into the game for Portland Christian will be senior number 20, Katie Moss, and also number 18, Sarah Medina. Cohen slaps the ball against the ground, gets the referee's whistle, set to serve. Serves a chair into the net. Portland Christian will get the get the serve back down 10, 21-11. Number 11, Ruby Meredith set to serve. Ruby Meredith is the one who had the great serving streak at the end of the first game for the Port for the Eagles. Meredith serves, hard serve. Off the foot of Tordorf. Referee's huddle. Not really sure. It looked like the ball had hit off Heather Tordor's foot, and that's what the referees decide had happened. Coach Gandolfo quickly questions the down judge, gets her satisfied answer. Meredith with the serve. Sam Moore. Gets the bump. Anna Sapone, I guess, expecting the ball to go over the net, did not see the ball coming to her, and the ball drops right behind her. Ruby Meredith with a nice serve, not handled by Jordan Cohen. Ruby Meredith has her serving skills on display here today at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium. Another serve by Meredith. Unable to be returned by KCD. And what was an 11 point lead for the Bearcats is now down to six. And Coach Gandolfo calls timeout, or excuse me, has a substitution in the game for Jordan Cohen as Natalie Tordorf. Natalie. Had that great service run to almost brought the Bearcats back into the first game. And that was the momentum shift they needed. Shelby Hendricks gets a kill. And senior Callie Klink goes to serve for war of the Bearcats. Three points away from victory in the second game. They're up 22-15. Klink with a short serve that drops for an ace. The ace for the senior at a very important time. Up eight now, 23-15, two points away. Two points away from a third game. Kelly Klink gets another short serve in. Portland Cushion gets the free ball over. Tordorf to Sapone. And Hendricks cannot get the kill down. Portland Cushion stays alive with number five, Spencer Eric, coming back to serve for the Eagles. Underhand serve by Eric. Places the ball right behind Sam Morrill for an ace. Causes Coach Gandolfo to call a timeout. We're going to take a quick break. 23-17 here at KCD.
Coach Gandolfo didn't need long to let her know that she was just satisfied with the returning of her KC Bearcats. We're back. Spencer Eric with the serve again. Shelby Hendricks hits it to Sapone. Back to Hendricks to get the free ball over. And return by Portland. Fordorf to Sapone. Sapone tips it over. And the ball is off of Means. KCD now with game point. Number 21, Anna Sapone going back to serve. And we have Kennedy Hayes checking back in for Sam Laurel. 24-17, KCD, game point. Sapone with a short serve into the net. Ball comes back to Portland Christian. Portland Christian needs to have six straight points without a side out, or there will be a third game. And they got their Abby Scroggy, the server they want. But first, there's a substitution for Portland Christian. Number three, Ashley Dixon, checking in the game for Means. Scroggy, the freshman, set to serve. Serves it to Cali Clink. Clink gets the ball up to Hayes. Hayes with the bump over the net. Portland gets the ball over, but Tordorf sends it back. Clink off the air conditioner. Hayes to Hendricks. And Portland with the kill attempt, but the dig by the younger Tordor out of bounds. 24-19 now, KCD with a five point lead. Scroggy serving for Portland Christian. Scroggy nails the line. KCD girls thought it was gonna be out, but it drops in for an ace. 24-20 now. But that one is out, and the game goes to the Bearcats. We will have three games of volleyball action here at KCD today. We will have another coin flip to decide who gets to serve between the captains, Meredith and Hendricks. We're going to take a quick break until we begin game number three here at KCD. We just won state. Powerade Ion 4, complete with sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, for electrolytes lost in sweat. Powerade Ion 4, the complete sports drink.
We're back at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium here at the campus of Kentucky Country Day School. Two games were not enough to settle this volleyball matchup between the Portland Christian Eagles and the KC Bearcats. We have to play three. Again, this game is to 25. Portland Christian won the toss for the serve. Abby Scroggy will begin this match for the Portland Christian Eagles. Both teams set to play. Referees making their final check. Teams trading places between the first two games. Portland Christian, the first game, got off to a nice big lead. KC came back to tie it up, but could never pull away. And Portland Christian was able to win the first game 25-23. KCD with a huge 9-0 lead to start the second game. They let Portland Christian crawl back into it before they won 25-20 in the second game. And here's game number three. The referee blows his whistle for Scroggy to serve. Scroggy off the tips, fingertips of Jordan Cohen for an ace and an early 1-0 lead. The, the Bearcats are having trouble moving their feet, lunging at balls with their upper body instead of getting there with their feet. And there's another example as the ball goes off senior Shelby Hendricks for another ace for Abby Scroggy. Scroggy hits it to Hendricks. Hayes with the set to Hendricks, who has to can't get the bump over. Four hits, three nothing lead for, K for Portland Christian. Not the way they want to start this game. KCD needs to pick it up here. Or I'm going to be sleeping on the couch. Jordan Cohen handles the serve over. Portland with the bump and the attack is Cyrus with the kill. Kill hit the hit the tape, but trickles over four nothing now. Portland Christian. Scroggy down to Sapone. He gets to Hendricks. Jordan Cohen with the back row attack that is out. Five nothing. Portland Christian. Coach Gandolfo wants a timeout. She is not happy. And we will take a quick break here at KCD as they find themselves down 5 nothing in the third game. You're watching a live broadcast on AHA by 852FX. Be ready, fall in, game on. Be ready, fall in, game on. And we're back here at KC. Portland Christian with an early 5 0 lead. Scroggy with the serve. Handled by KC, but a double hit by setter Kennedy Hayes. 6 0 now, Portland Christian. That is not the momentum shift Coach Gandolfo was hoping for. Scroggy hits it to Zapone, who hits it up. Hayes with the tip over, handled by Meredith. Portland Christian gets the ball over, but Zapone with the dig. Cohen to Hendricks. Hendricks places the ball off the hands of Cyrus, and the ball falls for a KCD side out, 6-1. to one. Shelby Hendricks hopefully can repeat her serving prowess of the first game and get KCD back in this match. There's your sidestep. Hendricks serves. Diving the turn by Portland Christian, but the ball goes out of bounds. Hendricks will serve again. Hendricks with the ace in the back middle, right in, right in front of number 20, Kate Means.
Hendricks with another serve to the back middle. Ruby Meredith can't quite get over. Dixon has to dive and get the ball live. Portland Christian with a great job. Tip over by Hayes. And a little miscommunication between Cyrus and Meredith. Casey D within two now. Shelby Hendricks serving down 6-4. Hendricks with a deep serve. And Portland Christian knocks out of bounds. I'll tell you what, Dixon for Portland Christian is diving all over the floor, keeping the ball alive. And Coach Settle calls timeout for Portland Christian as KCD has cut the big lead for Portland Christian to one. We'll stay here through this timeout. Both coaches calling an early timeout. They both have one left to go in this match, one timeout for each team. KCD is down five to six. Senior Shelby Hendricks is on a roll like she was in the first game. KCD breaks the huddle. Hendricks talks to her teammates before grabbing the ball from her mother, who's also serving as the line judge today. And Hendricks will go back to serve. A deep serve by Hendricks. Katie Means mishandled. Ruby Meredith with the diving attempt. Substitution now for Portland Christian. Number five, Spencer Eric comes in for the senior Means. Hendricks has tied the game six to six, and she is still rolling hopefully here. Beautiful serve. Into the net. Portland Christian can't return it. And KCD has retaken the lead. Shelby Hendricks really putting the team on her back. Hendricks with the serve. And Portland. Gets a free ball over Callie Klink with this bump to Cedric Kennedy Hayes who gets it to Hay uh, Jordan Cohen. Cohen gets the ball over. Portland with the attack now. And Shelby Hendricks takes it off the line. Bump to Cohen. Killed by Cohen. KCD continues the game of Jekyll and Hyde. Sometimes they look great and sometimes they look awful. Right now they look great and hopefully they can keep it going. Senior Hendricks with the sidestep. Gets to the back left. Ruby Meredith gets the ball up. Cyrus gets it to Eric, who gets the ball over on a free ball. Here's the set by Hayes. Cohen with the kill just inside the back line. Two straight kills for Jordan Cohen. 9-6 now the score for KCD. They trailed it 6-0 and have scored nine straight points. Shelby Hendricks with another serve to Ruby Meredith. Gets the ball to Cyrus. Portland gets the ball over and down. Gadhoff knocks it over and now she'll come back to serve. The senior finds her team down 9 7. Hannah got off with a serve to the middle. Shelby Hendricks gets it to Kennedy Hayes with the bump. Jordan Cohen gets the ball over and it drops. There was a little miscommunication by, between Cohen and Tordorf. Cohen makes the best of a bad situation and finds an empty spot between the Portland Christian defense. And Heather Tordorf will now go back to serve for the Bearcats. Tordorf with a nice serve. Portland Christian with the... The set and the kill. The kill by Cyrus, probably the best kill that Portland Christian has had all evening long. And now Cyrus, the lefty, comes back to serve. Cyrus 
Hits it short and into the net. KC will get the side out. Substitution in the game for Kennedy Hayes. Sam Laurel now comes in to serve. KC up 11-8. And Laurel hits it into the net. Portland Christian will get the side out with Dixon, who's got to have a numerous amount of floor burns as much as she's been diving on the floor today, set to serve. Dixon with a deep serve. The ball was hit over on the first attempt by KCD, and Portland Christian could not handle it. Jordan Cohen set to serve for the Bearcats, up three. Cohen just misses the back line, serves it out. Ruby Meredith will serve for the Eagles. Meredith off the tape and it falls for an ace. Portland Christian draws within one. Jordan Cohen with the bump to Zapone. Zapone finds Hendricks across the floor. Hendricks with the free ball over. Set by Portland Christian. The kill attempt by that off in the back corner. And she finds it. Great placement. Ties the game at 12. Ruby Meredith to serve again. Serves it to Hendricks, gets the ball to Sapone. And Hendricks gets it over the net. Returned by Portland Christian. Here's another kill attempt by Gadhoff, but Jordan Cohen with the dig to Sapone. Hendricks tries to get it over the block, but Portland Christian handles the ball. Free ball over. Sapone with the set. Clink with the kill. And Gadhoff with another kill attempt, but into the net. Oh, excuse me, that's Eric. Into the net. Callie Klink now serving for the KC Bearcats, up 1 13 12. Third game of this best of three match. Klink gets the ball over with an ace. Service ace for the senior, Callie Klink, at a great time. Gives the KC a little bit of a cushion now, 14 12. Clink again. Set by Portland Christian. Here's the kill attempt. Jordan Cohen handles it. Sapone with the set to Hendricks. Hendricks hits it to the back row. And Portland Christian's able to keep it up. That should be four hits. Four hits by the Eagles. Clink will serve again. But Coach Settle calls his final timeout of the match. KCD up 15-12. Momentum shifting back the way of the Bearcats. We'll keep it right here. Both these teams have been taking quick timeouts, so we. <laughs> Coach Gandolfo's team breaks the huddle. Kelly Clink. Returns to the service line, eager, ready to go. And now Portland Christian's Eagles return to the floor. K-City up 15-12. Callie Clink, the senior, with the serve. Short serve. Handled by Gadoff. Kill attempt by Gadoff into the net. Another point for Callie Clink. Alley's serve just skims the net. Free ball over, not just out of the reach of Sam Laurel. Portland Christian gets a much needed side out, finds himself down three with Eric. Spencer Eric to serve with the underhand serve by Spencer Eric, handled by 
Shelby Hendricks. Shelby Hendricks returns it. Free ball over the net for Portland Christian, but if Laurel with the hit could not just out of reach of Zapone. KCD still up two with Spencer Eric to serve again. Here's the underhand serve from Portland Christian. Spencer Eric, perfect placement on the underhand serve. Out of the reach of Callie Clink. Over the head of Jordan Cohen and out of the reach of Callie Clink. 16-15. Hendricks does the pwn. Fordor with the kill attempt out of bounds. Portland Christian has come back to tie this match. 16 all. KC in much of a need of a side out here. Aired again. Gives it to Hendricks. Does the pwn. Hendricks with the kill attempt. Gets it over. Portland Christian tries to get the, keep the ball up but can't. Huge point for the Bearcats who retake the lead. Kennedy Hayes will check back in for Sam Laurel and Anna Sapone, the junior, set to serve for the Bearcats. Sapone hits the tape, can't get it over, and we're tied back up at 17, serving for Portland Christian number two, Abby Scroggy. Scroggy serves it out of bounds. She started the game off for Portland Christian with six service points. But that one out of bounds, and now Shelby Hendricks steps to the line. Up one, 18 17, with her teammates hoping that she can answer the call once again. She serves a beautiful serve just over the net, right in front of Ruby Meredith. Ace for the senior, Shelby Hendricks. She has been phenomenal tonight with her serving. Her signature sidestep. Gets the hit up. Meredith with the return. Deep. And Tordor sends it back. Heather Tordor puts it down. 2017 now Bearcats. Five points away from a Bearcat victory here at the William A. Gardner Senior Gymnasium. Hendricks with another serve. This one handed by Eric to Gadoff. Gadoff gets it over. Hendricks with the bump to Hayes. To Cohen, who gets the kill. Yes. Ruby Meredith with a nice diving attempt for Portland Christian. But they could not return the kill of Jordan Cohen. Shelby Hendricks to the service line once again. Hendricks to Meredith. Set by Dixon. Cyrus with the kill attempt handled by Cohen. Hayes with the set, but Hendricks gets it over. Dixon with the set for Portland Christian. Handled by Hendricks. Cohen with the kill attempt. And it's down. She missed it a little bit, hit the tape. But she got a lucky bounce. And the ball falls. KCD now up 22-17. Three points away from victory. Hendricks to serve again. Ruby Meredith cannot handle another ace for the senior for KCD. Shelby Hendricks just flat out getting it done with her serve. Shelby, this one's just out. Gives Portland Christian a little bit of life. 23-18. Hannah Gadhoff to serve for Portland Christian. Anna Sapone. Oh. Anna Sapone tried to get the ball up. Casey almost saved that one. 23-19 now with Gadhoff serving for the Eagles. Hendricks to Hayes. Cohen can't get the kill. 
the KC lead is cut to three, and Coach Gandolfo has seen enough, and she calls her final timeout of this final game. Up three, trying to break the momentum of the Portland Christian Eagles. And we will stay right here as we are near the end of this epic battle between these cross-town rivals, the Portland Christian Eagles and the KC Bearcats. Portland Christian said to break the huddle. Find themselves down three, but they had to serve. And now KC breaks the huddle. KC Hoban for a side out, which would give them match point. Get off with the serve. Clink with the bump to Hayes. Jordan Cohen gets the ball over. And Portland Christian gets goes with the free ball back over. Shelby Hendricks to Hayes. Cohen with the kill attempt. And it's down. 24-20. KCD match point. Heather Tordorf set to serve. All it takes is one now. Tordorf. With the ace and the match for the Bearcats, KCD will improve their record to 5-16. and 16. Again, you can catch all the KCD athletic action at ihi.com slash.